Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your June 2018 intuitive reading. And your first two cards are out. <laughs> All right, so drop me a comment below, Gemini. Let me know how your May is developing or how your May was and how June is showing. Oh, sorry, excuse me. I'm being clumsy right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, just drop me a comment below. <laughs> you know, hopefully you're not being as clumsy as I am. And happy birthday, Gemini. Technically, June is your month. So, your month, your season, right? It's time, woohoo. I feel like this, this is gonna be a pretty invigorating time. Typically, whenever the sun moves into your sign, it is more of an auspicious time where you see a lot more things kind of going your way. Of course, it does depend on your rising sign as well, but we won't get into all that right now. But if you don't know your rising moon or sun sign, there is a chart calculator in the about me section of my page where you can check what that is for yourself, okay? So, your cards are out, Gemini. But before we get into the cards, let me tell you a little about the astrology here happening in June. And also before I do that, <laughs> I want to mention I'm going to be doing a four week long personal horoscope special. Okay, so it, there's only a few spots available. You get a horoscope for each week. So one horoscope for four weeks, that's four personal horoscopes all together. And then I tell you what days are most astrologically lucky for you based on your chart and your energy. So it's just a lot of good information and it's only $22. I'm just doing this special because I was like, why not? So I have some other really cool nifty things to mention to you, but we'll save that for the end, okay? Let's jump back in here. So. June 13th is going to be the new moon in your sign, new moon in Gemini. So that will be an awesome time for you to plant seeds of intention of what you want to see grow, you know, what you want to implement and just see carried out, right? That's what new moons are all about. Um, your, you know, the way you communicate and speak and, you know, all that lovely Mercury sort of energy sharing information, all that jazz can be highlighted around this new moon and just how you're doing that. You know, what new ways, what new and innovative ways might you take on for, you know, doing that or reevaluating that about yourself. Okay. And then June 28th is whenever the full moon is June 28th, full moon in Capricorn. So full moon Capricorn, moon feels and generally gives off this vibe of where you have been slacking in organization that is being brought up, you know, business, home, environment, uh, time management, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be highlighting a lot of ways how you can build more structure for yourself in that area, all those areas. So that and also where you might be feeling limited and kind of feeling pressured from those authority figures or just people in general, how you might be imposing and limiting yourself with some things that that can also be brought up with the Capricorn full moon. So boom shakalaka. But I'll have a separate Moon Tidings video out where I'll go much more in depth about that later on. Let me take you down here now, Gemini, so you can see what cards showed up. And while you're looking, I'm going to draw a runestone for the crossing energy. So your crossing energy rune is Haggle. 
Okay. So feel free, Gemini, to take a deep breath with me here before we get into it. Okay, Gemini, let's see what is going on exactly, shall we? So June, it looks like much of your focus, Gemini, is going towards and is being asked to put your energy and time into the larger picture for your future, where you're seeing yourself in the next few years, you know, the next few weeks even. What you want to see take off for you. You know, if you're wanting to launch a business, if you're wanting to sort of create this new image for yourself, you know, kind of exposing and launching that to the world. Something here about putting it out there and also some of you kind of there's there's an energy here with some big shift that is being undertook here in June three of wands you know, he's all about this energy where it's expansion he's looking beyond he is in his creative headspace and just thinking and feeling that energy of acting on those inspirations that come to him and just really watching them set sail, watching those things take off, you know, really being able, I almost feel like to taste the future, this new sense of future for yourself, you know, you're kind of being asked to move on to the next step in June because here you're being asked to release with the page of wands here. The page of wands is sort of that, I'm getting like that childlike naivete sort of energy and enthusiasm. You know, I don't think you should lose that here, but there's sort of a needing to move on and leave behind sort of that that sort of immature viewpoint that others may have um, sort of inflicted upon you or that you might have about yourself or your own situation. You know, something here about kind of moving on from that naive sort of beginning stage, right? You know, that young sort of stage of things and kind of graduating, basically. I sense that you Geminis are really graduating to uh, this larger perspective of really implementing really getting things done and allowing things to really be shifted. There's something here though about kind of watching your level of enthusiasm and your level of um, intense sort of ethic and work ethic because it, I feel like that, that can cause a little bit of tension or a little bit of stirred or angry sort of feelings around you and even other people. You know, with Haggle here too, Haggle is that rune of disruption, of unexpected and sudden occurrences that can sometimes kind of knock us off our feet. And to me also, since it's paired, with the Three of Wands, it's about kind of being, kind of coming into a sudden stroke of genius in June for a lot of you Geminis. And sometimes a sudden stroke of genius, you know, sudden stroke of aha, that aha moment where it's like, oh, boom, you know, now, now I know which path to take. I'm going to 
go, you know, way over here whenever I thought I was way over there. You know, that kind of thing. There's a big element of just that shift going on. Because here in your result uh, of the month, you have the tower happening. The tower and haggle are telling me such a clear and coincidental, you know, story here for you in June. The tower is the disruptor in the tarot deck. Major arcana here. And, you know, you, you see that fiery lightning strike breaking down that sort of power struggle or that creation, that build that you had for yourself, that you thought, you know, for yourself. There's something being disrupted and being kind of thrown here. But I feel like it has to do with an ingenious and adventurous sort of new, expansive growth spurt. I mean, I just feel like there's this big sense and my intuition is going crazy about this, Gemini, where it's about this big growth spurt with you in June, which is amazing, you know, but again, the tower energy can come in to feel a little shaky and ungrounding because it's completely, there's an energy of completely, you know, just breaking things sort of down or being you know, maybe around your new moon that's happening on the 13th, you know, and then Neptune and Mars go retrograde in June. That Mars retrograde could very well be kind of aff affecting that power sort of energy, solar plexus chakra level um, and center with you guys, okay? So just be aware, you know, of that energy in June. It, you can really use it to your benefit here like we discussed where those it's the ingenious sort of insights that just cause this new dynamic you know a whole new dynamic going on the bottom of the deck you have the knight of wands knight of wands is that adventure and explorer and a lot there's a lot of that fiery mars energy surrounding you guys in june Okay, so there's a need, I feel like, just be forewarned, Gemini, that there is a breakdown sort of energy here. You know, if you're not too careful, if you're just overextending yourself, you know, you just keep pushing, pushing, pushing yourself, you know, and even pushing others with you, you know, that can, you could push yourself to the brink of kind of that shake up and that... Um, breakdown. So just that is a little warning, you know, with what's going on in June. But man, the progression and expansion and quick sort of insights that are really just riveting here are, you know, sublime. They are sublime for you, Gemini. <laughs> so we'll get more details. Do a full Celtic cross spread and the extended reading. Extended video link will be below in the descriptions. You can download it like that, or you can just watch it online. Um, so that'll be available, and we'll do. Uh, we'll I'll also pull you an animal spirit guide for the month of June as well as the full Celtic cross spread. So, oh, also the do-it-yourself starlight rituals are available in my Etsy shop as well. Boom. Uh, if anyone, any of you want to do a personal reading with me, I love getting to work with y'all. I've worked with a couple of Geminis last month one-on-one, -on -one, and it was beautiful. Awesome. We always have a good time. So if you're interested, email information will be below. Thank you so much, Gemini, for your likes and your sharing and commenting on these videos. It really helps support my channel, and I love hearing, love hearing and seeing all the love. So... I will see you very soon, most of you in the extended, okay? Take care for now.